Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today is going to be a tutorial for you guys on putting together um, this die set, which is the suitcase shadow box die set. Um, I've done a couple of them already and um, just quickly, this is the one that I made first off, which is the actual shadow box which is a really fun way to use the die set. I'll, um, this is what it was intended to be, but there are lots of different options that you can do with the set. So the, my next one, I made a mini album. Okay, and that's, this is just minimally decorated, but this is what I'm gonna show you how to put together today. And then I'll, I'll kinda, when we're to that point, I'll kinda show you what you would do. <clears throat> instead if you wanted to do the um, the shadow box, okay? All right, so with the shadow box, you get, I'm gonna show you some of these extra dies and stuff first. So with the set, you get this banner, and it's got the layering piece on it, which is what I used right here on this one, okay? So you get that with the die set. You get the airplane. You get this uh, piece right here that uh, cuts out airmail and the airplane. And then you get the word travel with the shadow for it. Okay. Also what you get is <clears throat> this piece. That are the layering pieces for the handle this piece which is the um like for the strap um you know, for your luggage and then it also has the buckle that goes with it okay here's these little circles right here and they are <clears throat> to cut out and layer up on these holes right here okay you have this piece right here which is going to be your strap for the um, you know, for the suitcase, like your luggage strap. Okay, you have this piece, which is the bottom that also has the layering piece for it. You have this piece, which is the side pieces, and then the layering piece for that. And then you have these two. This is the main die. So this die, it's going to cut out this whole thing flat like that. Okay, this next die is this one, it looks the same, but it's just a little bit different. This one has a cut um, mark around here too. So that's gonna give you this border piece right here. So you would be using this piece right here if you were gonna do a shaker, which you can also do a shaker out of it. I, I'm not gonna do it this time, but I, you can do it. So if you're gonna do a shaker, you would cut one of these for your pattern paper and then you cut one of these out of your foam or whatever you're going to use for your, you know, for your depth, for your, um, for your shaker. And then you would cut this other one, that's the plain flat piece, like here, you would cut that um, out of acetate or whatever you're going to use, vellum, tool, whatever you want to use for your window part, okay? So those are the main pieces. So first off, <clears throat> I'm gonna show you, um, I'm gonna make the covers first, okay? So what I cut was, um, let's see, yeah, okay. I cut one of these, that's gonna be my border, okay? I cut this out twice out of pattern paper. So I cut this one, and then I cut this one which is gonna be the inside of my cover, okay? And then I cut the center piece um, out of 110 pound cardstock. Now I always, whenever I make a 3D thing, I always use a couple layers and I always put like 110 pound cardstock just to give it the sturdiness. You don't want, you know, a flimsy floppy project, especially when you're gonna be something that's gonna be, you know, gotten in and out of, opened and closed, that kind of stuff. You don't want it to fall apart. Okay, so what I did is I cut, cut the one of these, okay? I cut this one, which is gonna be my inside, so I'm gonna put that, I'm gonna put that on the back, 
This is going to be the outside of my cover. Okay, so I'm going to put that on the front, and then I'm going to layer up this piece right here. So this is going to give me a real sturdy cover for right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, glue these all in place. <clears throat> So, I got my um, liquid, um, this is Barely Arch glue. You could use whatever glue you want. You could use tape, you could use um, you know, hot glue, whatever you, whatever you prefer. I prefer, for this kind of thing, it's gonna be, that might move around a little bit on me. I like the I like the um, liquid glue because it gives me a moment to a little bit of play so I can get it in place in case I don't get it down properly the first time. Okay, now I'm going to take my border piece and add that on next. Okay, and that's just going to go just right along all the edges. Fit it right in there like it should. Just line it up. Kind of line it up before you press it. Let me get my glass block out here. Boom. All right, and then this is gonna be the inside, uh, the cover of the inside, because I don't want it just to be plain white. I mean, I could leave it plain white, but I don't want to. So I, I cut this one out of some pattern paper to cover it on the inside. Okay, so I'm just going to flip this over and put this on the inside. I'm going to try to do this um, tutorial a little quicker than I did the last one. I still want to do real time and, you know, not pause, not fast forward, stuff like that, just so, you, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I just thought I would. <laughs> Okay, so that's going to be one cover. Now we're going to do the exact same thing for the back cover. Okay. So again, I'm going to take my 110 pound cardstock. I'm going to cut out my pattern paper that I've cut to go on top of it. And when you do things like this, when you make projects like this and you're using you know, your 110 pound cardstock, that's a good time to... Um, perfect time to use any of your pattern papers that are the real thin papers um, you know that you don't want to use um, you know just by itself so you don't even know that it's a thin sheet of paper if you you know back it with 110 so okay so there's that piece and then we're gonna put on the border piece again Let's get that glued up. <clears throat> okay, let's put this over here on this one for a minute while I glue up the inside piece. down of course you could do like stitching and stuff on this if you want to um, I'm not going to do any stitching on this one okay let that sit there for a second all right and then let's go ahead and put together I'm just gonna for the sake of this video I'm just gonna do one page just to show you how it works and let's see we're not gonna do that yet okay what we're gonna do next is take, oh, I forgot to show you the other piece that you're gonna to need to make it an album. So this is the piece that you need to make it an album. Now, when I first got this, I didn't know what this was for. I put everything else together and I was like, I'm not sure what this is for. And then Erica told me it's for if you wanna make it a mini album. So this is, your page is gonna go in here, okay? What I use mine for on my shadow box, the first one I put together, is I put some of my, um, 
uh, stuff that I used in my shadow box. I like, I cut this out and like folded it up and, and paste this on the bottom so that it kind of like held my items that I had in my shadow box like out at different lengths, at different depths from inside the shadow box. So it worked that way. But this is what it's, what it's intended for is to, um, to do a mini album. So anyway, you're gonna cut this out too. And I, of course, cut it out 110 and then you fold on the score mark. So it, it kind of like folds together, see like that. And then you have one little, this little thin piece is gonna be the part you're gonna glue down to put your page in, okay? All right, so next thing we're gonna do before I get ahead of myself, which I started to do with putting together the, the page, but I don't wanna do that yet because I'm not ready for it. <clears throat> All right, so here is this piece. It is the um, the bottom, okay? So we're gonna cut out one of these. So I cut it out in 110. And then this is the layering piece. I cut it out twice, once for the outside, once for the inside, okay? <clears throat> we are gonna go ahead and fold up on the score line. Let me grab my, my phone folder right here. And then we're gonna Fold the other one in. Okay. So we fold it. Okay, so I'm going to put, let's see, I cut it to where this is the gonna be the part showing. So now I'm just gonna glue this up. Just make sure I'm in frame here. Sorry guys if I'm not. I guess I haven't been. Okay, so I'm going to take one piece and just center it down the center here. In between where I've um, folded it. I think I got it straight. Okay, so I'm going to have one on the inside and then I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to have one on the outside. So I'm going to put some glue on this one. And line it up here on the outside piece. Don't stick down yet. I'm not ready. I don't got you centered up very good. There we go. So now I have one piece on the outside, one piece on the inside. Okay. All right, next step is going to be to take our um, um, panel here that we're going to attach it. And I made a boo-boo. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so this is going to attach right here. Okay. And what I did on my other one so you wouldn't see it is before I put that back piece on, I sandwiched it in between here. So what I'm talking about is, see how on this one, when you open it up, you don't see the piece, you don't see this bottom piece, the attachment piece, because I put my front on the one side and I put my back on the other piece. So, I, so when I, I put my front piece along here, and then I touch, attach my back piece along here so it wouldn't show. So I just screwed up. That's what happens. I kind of get ahead of myself once in a while. I don't know if I can pull this up without damaging it all, but I'm going to try. Oh, it's coming out fairly easy. I didn't put a ton of stuff on. Okay, so what I mean is this here, I'm going to stick down in here. I'm going to stick this there. See, when I do that, that covers up that tab right there. Okay, and then it's covered on the other side also. Okay, so luckily I was able to save that. Okay, let's go ahead and get this glued on both the outside and the inside. Okay, and then we're just gonna like stick this up under here.
and then I'm gonna pull that so it lines up right there, both both pieces. Okay. Okay. So now my little flap that's right here on this side is sandwiched in between this front panel and the inside panel. Okay, now let's take some of this, glue this back down so it will be nice and strong there. Okay, now hopefully I can get the other piece up as easily. Okay, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to see if I can, oh yes, 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 yes. Okay, great. Okay, so here's my front cover, and here's gonna be my back cover, okay? So I'm gonna just do the same thing. I'm gonna coat both of these, front and back side of this tab, and I'm gonna slide this down right on here. And if I hadn't made the mistake and wasn't sliding it down, you would just be attaching this, you know, your inside piece to the inside of it, and then your outside piece to the outside, so it's sandwiched in between the two, okay? Hope that makes sense. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and coat up the inside of it and the outside. Okay, and then I'm just gonna stick this inside there, line it up, kind of fold it, hang on, hang on, hang on. So it's all nice and firm. Okay, so here's our base, our cover. Okay. Now, now if I here's where I'm going to show you. If I was going to make this um, the shadow box, you know, of course I'm not going to because I don't have it. I don't have it open in here. But if I wanted to make it a box, I would use these two pieces here. So I would cut this one out twice. And this is the layering piece, so you cut this one out. It depends on whether you want to line it inside and out. If you want it lined inside and out, then you do four pieces, so you need two for each side, okay? So this is gonna attach like down here to this bottom, and then it will kind of fold up and around to the middle here, and then the same thing over here. You have the other one, it would um, attach down here to this, you know, to this bottom piece that we just fit, did, and it would, and then you'd fold all these in and then attach it like that, and it would meet together up here and then these two pieces would um, meet in the center up here, in, in here. So that's how you do it if you want to do it, you know, like a box, okay? So this is that piece. And you just fold all those pieces in and you're attaching them to the front side and, you know, if you want it to be a shadow box like that. Now you can just close it up and make it just closed in. Um, there's, I think there's been at least one design team member who actually made it I think she made like two of these, and so they come together, uh, closed up, but then they, they can also open, they can open back up. So, really cute. So, that's what you would do if you wanted to make it a shadow box. But we're not making a shadow box, so we're not gonna use those pieces at all. Okay, next we are ready to um, take one of these pieces that's from this um, die right here. Okay, so depending on how many pages you're gonna have is gonna depend on how many of these you're gonna cut. So what I did is I, I did one of these for two pages. So I put, so I attached one page to this side and one page to the, this other side, okay? So we're gonna do the same thing here of attaching um, one side of it to the inside of the tab and my other piece to the outside of the tab. Okay. <clears throat> I didn't put, oh yes I did, there it is. <laughs> I thought I forgot to put the 110 panel in the middle, but I didn't. Okay. So you don't, you wouldn't have to as much for the inside if you wouldn't, if you don't want to, but like I say, I, I 
I always do, so that kind of surprised me there for a minute that I didn't have it there. Oops, I don't want it up there yet. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and I'm going to um, just attach it in here and I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it to see that I got it in the middle. Um, I'm just gonna kind of line it up over this because I want it, I don't want it to be hanging out, you know, one side or the other. So, okay, so I'm gonna attach that there to the inside. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of lay it down and press down. Okay. Oops. Hang on. Kind of moving. I got it lined up still. Okay, I'm gonna lay it down and just kind of press it down. Let me, let me get back up here in frame. So since there's three pieces of oh, the way I'm doing it with the middle piece, um, you're gonna have like this one's going on the inside of that tab and then I'm gonna have one to go on the outside but you're gonna have you got three pieces if you're late if you're um, layering it you know with a 10 or 10 in the inside so two pieces will either go on the outside or on the or on the inside whichever however you do it so now that I have this one on here I am going to go ahead and add, cover up this and just attach it right here. So this is going to be on the inside of the flap also. Okay. Get that down. Okay, now flip it over. Okay, so here's the outside of our tab. Okay, so now I'm going to put this piece over that on the outside of the tab and cover the other side of the page. So both sides of my page will be decorated. Okay, get that attached right there. Okay, so now our tab is covered up on the outside and it's covered up on the inside. Now we have this other side, this other tab on this other side that we would do another page if we're doing another page, but I'm not gonna you know, take the time to do a multiple pages for the tutorial. You know, you just do the same thing over here on this other tab on this side. And then if you wanna do more pages, like I did four or five pages on my other one, so then I, I had two of these. So I had one page here, one page here, and then one page here, and then one page here. Okay, hope that makes sense. Okay, so now, since we're not gonna add another page right now, I'm gonna still add this later. I'll, I'll probably go back and finish this up off, you know, off camera, and, um, you know, add the others in there, but this can still go ahead and go in. So now what we're gonna do is fold, the, when you fold down that other tab over there, we have this thin piece right here that's going, we're going to put some glue on it and it's going to, we're going to turn it like this and it's going to attach down in here to our, like our uh, spine, like a, like a spine of our book. Okay. Like if it was a, a book. Okay. So let's put some, I'm going to go ahead and hold that down so I don't get it on the tab. Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna put it, I'm not gonna put it right in the center because I'm gonna do another one at some point. So I'm just gonna kind of like make, kind of like eyeball it down into thirds. And 
put this one here and then when I add my other page in I'll, I'll center it between these two pieces right here so you just want to hold down on this for a little bit to get it to stay get it in place you want that to be nice and and dried so it doesn't go anywhere it doesn't you know turn on or anything like that so I'm just gonna kind of lightly keep pushing down on that for a while there's nothing I can really I guess you know pushing over here on this tab is not gonna because that's not that parts not glued so just kind of kind of got to keep pressure right there now you could you could install these first if you wanted to um, and then just add it down I just thought it would be easier for me um, getting my hands you know to get these layered in between that it would be easier to do it before I attach it down there but you could attach these first inside there and have them all dry and then just attach your pages to them once you've got them in there but this way worked out good for me I think I would have maybe struggled with them getting them straight and stuff more with them already attached but you know you'll have to just see what works best for you but you could do it, do it either way so I don't want to don't want to let go yet just because I want to make sure this is good and dried I don't want it to come up this could have been a good place for um, um, hot glue okay so I think I think I've got that down good in there so there I go there's my my little thing my little um my first page okay <clears throat> so now I'm ready to add another page back here if I want to at a later time so let's go ahead and just for the sake of the video let's go ahead and attach these so you know um if you notice on this one my first one, I put the little strap, just did one strap, and I just did it right down the middle. Um, on my next one, I did both straps and the latches and stuff in the front. <clears throat> now, some people put the plain piece, the whole strap, um, along the back, and then they do just this part right here around the front, which looks cute too. In fact, I might do ahead and do it that way this time on this one. So let's do that. So let's turn it over to the back. <clears throat> And take these two pieces which is from this thin die right here and we'll just attach these right here you can put them wherever you want doesn't really matter just as long as you line up the front with the back <clears throat> sorry was out of frame again okay. I think we'll just put these right to the sides of the handle you don't have to put these on at all if you don't want to okay. <clears throat> so there's my second one get it straightened up get it even with the top up here and then press it down. Okay, I'm gonna flip it back over. And now I'm gonna take these two pieces. Let's go ahead and um, <clears throat> get this put together before we add it on. It might be a little bit easier right there. So I'm gonna take my glue and just kind of go around each one of these dots and I'm being a little sloppy here then I'm gonna put my little gold ring around it try and wipe off some of the glue so it's not so bad okay, put this on again get it lined up there we 
go. This one on. So pretty. You can do gold or something like I did here. Or you could do, um, you know, like another pattern. It would have been cute if I would have did like a, the white of this pattern that I have there. You know what I forgot to do was um, cut out two sets of those. I did two of the buckles, but I forgot to do two sets of that. Oh, good job. What a good job I did doing that. Let's see which way. Let's go. I'm going to put this in this last hole right here, like that, and then take that and kind of feed it through. Let's get that back in there. There we go. So here's this one put together. So now I'm going to go ahead and the, the back piece I put it right beside that, so that's where I'm going to attach this front piece. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit on the buckle also. So that it stays in place. Okay. So it's going to go right there. Get that lined up and straight. Press it down. Okay, so this one, since I forgot to do the things, I'll, ha I'll go ahead and put this <coughs> um, through without the things, and I'll go cut some after I get done off camera and add those to it. We'll go ahead and get this the rest of this attached. that right to the side of that handle. Put it up there even with the top. And look how cute that is. I still should be able to get underneath there to put those little hole reinforcers there. So cute. Okay, and then here's the handles. So there's two, there's this one that comes down and there's this one that just goes across the top. Um, I think you, you can layer them up too. I think I'm gonna put this one on the front. And then, um, you know, I could have cut the other piece like out of gold or something, or maybe cut this piece out of gold and layered it with pink. Could do it either way. But I'm just gonna add this right here to the handle on this piece. And then I'm gonna add this piece here I'm going to use that for the back. I'm just going to, I'm not going to layer it. I'm just going to put it on the back. Okay. And that just fits right in here like this. And that is that. So look how cute. And then, like I say, I can go back. And once you get it done, it, it, um, it can stand up once you get like, I embellished the heck out of mine. So when I would stand it up, it stood up, except for then it would kind of like tip over because I had so many embellishments hanging off the front, like I had a, that bead uh, thing and stuff. So anyway, I clipped mine with a, um, with a bull nose clip, tied some stuff on it to hold it together. You could just, and then I also just tied ribbon around it once I got everything inside um, because of the thickness of it. So you could do it like this. And now I'm ready, like I say, to add my other page. So cute. Hi, guys. So what also, um, uh, another way you can do it, what you can use it for, too, is, um, let's see, Michelle, uh, Paper Dreams, Dreams and Things. She had saw, saw mine, and she um, said she decided to make a embellishment book out of it. So rather than a photo album, you know, a mini album like I did, she put pages inside also, and she you know loaded them up with um embellishments so what a cute way to send a swap huh with all your little goodies inside protected you could do a couple pages and you know put a couple you know fill both sides of each page and how fun 
So anyway, there's um, lots of options with this. So hope this was helpful to you guys. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Um, let me know what do you think. Do I do okay on the tutorials? I've done two this month. <laughs> so, um, or maybe the other one was at the very end of the month, but it was showing one of these die sets from Scrap Diva for the month of March. So anyway, I um, hope you guys liked it. Let me know what you think. Let me know what I need to work on. Um, or if there's, you know, whatever. <laughs> And um, if you need help with putting it together, whatever, um, you're struggling, you don't know what a piece is, can't remember, whatever. I don't know. When I watch a tutorial, I just, I watch it and then I pause it and I get up to that step and then I, and then I start it again and I go for the next step and that kind of thing whenever I follow a, a tutorial like that. So that makes it pretty good. But yeah, if you want to make it a box, just remember going to use these two pieces to make your, um, to make your thing, your, your, um, your suitcase a box okay guys thank you so much for watching hope everybody's doing great have a great weekend and i'll see you on the next one bye